Welcome to the recording studios. Conditions in here today aren't what we'd hoped, but um, we're certainly going to have a bash at producing another Smasheroo Christmas record. <laughs> now, around me, I've got gathered one or two of the boys. And here, first of all, to speak is Ringo. Come over here, Ringo. Thank you. Thank you. Well, once again, I'd like to thank you all <laughs> for the cards and letters and all the gifts you've sent us and for buying our records and for being just great fans again. Well, that's all from me at the moment. I'll hand you over to George. Hello, everybody. Well, this is our third Christmas record now. And uh, everything else is still nice, isn't it? I'll hand you over to John. <laughs> uh, John. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's been a long time since I've spoken to you, and uh, that's about all. Uh, John, I understood you had a couple of words to say to us. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had a chance to speak to you on this level, and that's about all. <laughs> well, <clears throat> well, it looks like it's been another... Smasheroo year. <laughs> And, um, and so, we'll just wait for a sound effect then. Don't forget to thank him about the film. Ladies and gentlemen, as you, as you know, the recording studio here today, we've had a little couple of mishaps and uh, the plumbing went astray. We were hoping that we could get a little bit more out of the boys today, but um, I understand they had a bad night last night. Pretty soon, Henry was to find out that his wife had been made with him by the former butcher of the village. Yeah. She, of course, left unheard of. The next thing we knew, that Harry was down with the flu. Well, of course, we knew he hadn't been out, so we were caught it, obviously, off her. And she was carrying it around like a bad thing. Over to the studio. <laughs> Thank you. Well, back here in the studio, conditions have definitely improved. <laughs> conditions have definitely improved, and it is certainly now looks as though we are going to get this uh, show on the road. The boys are now tuning up for their record, and it sounds like uh, George is in pretty good voice. It sounds like he is. Is he? No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Oh, man, oh, you can't. Think Someone of think of something. You know. Well, that's what I said. I said, don't. Put I know it you did say that, John. I know. We stand here like a soft Henry. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, fans. Like this isn't the baby we used in the test, but we got Mrs. Williamson to slice up a fresher baby. <laughs> and here there's the baby now in the, in the process of being sliced. There you go. Now, as you see, the smaller slices are the only slices that are allowed into the box. Now, all the bigger slices, like the limbs and the head, we keep out and we use in uh, various other uh, meat products such as pal, uh, keno meat and other things like that. But you, the buyers, must realise that only the small part of this child will end up in your family frozen pack in your shops from It's Friday. not a very pretty sight, I can tell you. <laughs> it's not a very pretty sight seeing a little baby sliced up on a, on a slicing machine. It's not too pretty, folks. Do you mean those uh, little saw white spots in the back? Oh, yes, I use gumsticks, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, right. Well, I think it's time to put the baby to sleep, eh, Ringo? <coughs> Come along, Daz. <coughs> Come along. Well, down here at the station, the uh, constable has just given me their reports for the evening, and the, uh, the winner of the personality report for this evening, the best report, and neatness taken into account was P.C. Lennon. P.C. Lennon, please come forward and collect your this year's award for the neatness rep uh, personality report as uh, uh, down at the station. Well, thanks Oops. very much for the prize. I must say I'm very happy to have it. It's the first time I've won a policeman. I'm going to look after him like he was my own. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't have us laughing on it, though. It's cut that, cut that. Thank you very much. Uh, the well, next contestant, stand up on the winner, please. Now, I've come along there tonight from Blackburn, uh, and I, I was there the other night at the Labour Club, and I saw this fellow there juggling, and you got three thought, sons. Uh, no. You said no. <laughs> no, I didn't. And who have you brought along tonight? Well, uh, 
And now uh, this fellow was at the Labour Club, you see, and I thought he'd stand a good chance. He was at the, TV. isn't that wonderful, ladies and gentlemen, the Labour Club? The Labour Club, yes. And yeah. so here he is. Here he is. <laughs> and what is his name? Yes, well, we've had trouble finding his name due to the fact that he lost his birth certificate when he was born, you see. Oh, yes. <laughs> so anyway, for whoever he may be, it's knocking again. It's all very well to you to say we're going on the cheap holiday this year. A rowing boat, that's pushing it. <laughs> I mean, in the middle of the Mediterranean, we're getting a cruise, all right, we're getting a tan, yes. <laughs> But is it worth it, the right boat? Hmm. Main thing is, we've got away. Those... Yeah, we've got away, we've certainly got away. Where are we going? Hey! Hey! Who, who did that? Who? Hey! Who is it? Will you stop it? <laughs> People trying to get to sleep, are you? Oh, uh, yeah, you, you, that, you were right, weren't you, about this cruise, yes? And end up in a railway, railroad sidling, sidling. <laughs> and end up in a rail, railway siding, yes. Oh, and in a rowing boat. Oh. You and your cheap holidays. Oh, what is it? What is it? Hey! I can't really make out what they are. <laughs> no, I can't make Sorry out what they are yet, John, but you never know. There may be something there. And now it's Starkey into the right corner with the left swing, <laughs> and he's over to Lennon, and Lennon is on there, and he's over there now again, and he's hitting him with the bell, yes, and the ref's coming in now, and he's over there. Now. One and one is two, I'll get that bum in two. <laughs> one, uh, two, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, six, uh, <laughs> <that's> seven, <laughs> I'll get that boom in seven. Yes, it was a wise man who said Christmas comes but once a year. And when it comes, it brings good cheer. Certainly come again this year. Where's all the good cheer we used to know? Maybe we're not pulling together, ladies and gentlemen. Going to finish the job we set off to do. Maybe we ought to all pull together with one concerted effort and put our party in the lead. <laughs> <coughs> if we could just keep going for another couple of hours, I'm sure we'd get something. Has anybody mentioned Christmas yet? We could certainly mention it on the next... Oh, you yes, mentioned it. I think so far we've got a lot of little quickie shots from going from different sounds that we'll probably use, you know, about five or ten seconds of each, just sort of yeah. bring them bang in straight up. Yeah. Have you got any humans? <laughs> <laughs> the new record. Right, put that on, that's lovely. Oh, oh, copyright or something. Oh, watch the copy. Oh, copyright. these are oh, sound effects. It's a tune, though. Copyright, copyright. It's bound to be copyright, that will be able to use it. Who wrote it? Is it got? It's that. Uh, it's what's in there? No, it's not copyright. It's those old it's thingy. It's the Star Spangled Banner thing. Um, oh, corner. Right on the record. Great. It can't be copyright. It's on the record. Oh, oh. all right. Well, we'll sing it then. Dixie, oh, she left you, she left you uh, I wish you was a Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> That's we'll do it again. We'll do the. All right. All right. Uh, didn't we'll, do it. We'll, we'll tell the first one. This thing really. You know. It's no good singing it. You have to do something. No good. It's on. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome and welcome. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody to the festival of pipe music. Here, in the Bavarian Alps, we always hold this festival once every two hours. <laughs> Hello, Fritz. We're having a bit of a loon up. Are you coming over? Yeah. That was one of our German pipe players saying a few words to you. you we've got him here on this occasion of Christmas, and he's going to say a few words. And now, Fritz Schwedelmrum. Hello, Fritz. 
<laughs> We're having a bit of a loon up. You're coming over. Can't we have one sort of in the distance? What's in the distance? Well, us all the... Hey. We wish you Merry Christmas. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the R. Steadfoot. This is the annual prize giving which we hold every two hours. This is uh, the prize giving now, where we're going to present the prize to the farmer with the most promise this year, Mr. Lennon. Thank you. Well, my cow, uh, it, as you know, it's good. It's one of the best hilly food of the crossbreed. It's a well known it's, it's Thailand of the kettle and the long horn. Very breeding and a lot of luck to you, so thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we don't seem to know anybody here, do we? <laughs> Is that, is that, is that Charlie over there? Yes, I think it? it is, you know, I think it is. Hey, Charlie! Charlie, come over. Come on. What? See that bird in the corner, Joe? All right, all right, that's enough of that. Come on. What are you doing here? Come on. All right, come on, what are you doing here? Come on. What is it, one of the three of you doing hanging around here? Great, sir. Is he all right? <laughs> I think it was just a scratch, sir. Just a scratch, sir. It's just a scratch, sir. I think it was just a scratch, sir. I think it was just a scratch, sir. Well, <clears throat> well what are we going to do, fellas? Come on, we got to pull, pull ourselves together.